this makes all the difference in the world in my own understanding because picture this. A woman's body is growing, her belly's growing, and one day a child pops out. Where did this come from? The, the, the female as the giver of life becomes a central part of the life experience of humans. And women need to be taken care of and nurtured and there's a reverence that appears around this life giver. I am Bridget Wolf. I sing songs of life. I drum the pulse of life. I let piano keys dance under my fingertips, and I dance the song, vibrantly awake. The power of the spirit of life that would push on through all of these barriers to be here with you all. <laughs> to be here. I am here. And coming into my 50th birthday, I am telling you, it has been a long journey to welcome myself to this plane of existence. Mm -hmm. Wow, I have been a lover of music all my life and early on was given the opportunity to study Hammond organ piano, be with school, play in percussion instruments in school bands, take voice lessons, earned a degree at college, majored in music, vocal and piano performance. And that is, it was at college that the songs began coming to me. I began improvising. Up until that point I was studying everybody, all the, all the other music available from the rich history of Western music that we have and the American folk tradition and American popular music. And living in Italy introduced me to opera and to other um, Italian folk traditions. Living in Montreal and parts of Canada introduced me to their music and I kept growing in um, my study of languages and study of music from different cultures including the music of India and uh, that opened up my voice to be able to sing beyond the half-step uh, modality of the Western music and can do inflections that even people here have thought to, brought them back to Morocco and their experience of music over there. So it's been an amazing journey and I'm very grateful that I keep letting my spirit express in whatever way feels real and connected, in whatever language, whatever part of my voice, deep, high, mid-range, whatever instrument I choose to play, I just keep bringing life through me with music and rhythm and ex musical expression. spirit of life that's moved through these other cultures with the different music that I listen to and it has just 
deepened me as a human being and connected me up more to life in, in these different forms around the planet and helped me feel more a part of um, something magical unfolding and more connections with more people um, and, and feeling a connection with the rhythm of the tabla and the rhythm of the djembe in Africa and, and, and the rhythms of um, however they're expressed, whether it's you know with a string quartet and, and the music of the violin or flutes. All of them speak to me in different ways and they're all part of this enormous musical palette that is available to us to explore and I just think it's so exciting because I had so many layers where I would shut myself down and I would freeze. Trauma, PTSD. I've been navigating the deep, deep waters of depression and suicidal ideation for the last, I don't know how many years. And I'm finally beginning to surface with a core, a strength that I have never had my whole life my whole life, because I know the spirit in me, you know, kept shining like this, and kept dancing around, and kept singing loudly, and it was, shh, shh, you're too loud, don't laugh, don't, no, you can't, they would out-anger me, out, you know, punish me for my tears, and say, you have nothing to cry about, if you don't stop crying, I'll give you something to cry about, and in every way society and parents could possibly put me into a container to be a good little girl, I excelled at that for survival. I've always loved a good story and having lived in Rome for two years when I was a child and being introduced to the myths of Roman and Greek cultures and the gods, the Roman gods and goddesses and the Greek gods and goddesses, mythology has been a part of my education and as well as the stories of Christianity and the stories of other sacred traditions, um, they, it's rich and, and filled with energy and struggle and aliveness and, and it informs me in ways that at times I find hard to put into words because of the richness is so vast and the diversity is so thrilling.